हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर रंजन बेलसरे एंड वेलकम टू एच आर आर सी दैट इज होम्योपैथिक रैपिड रीडर्स क्लब थैंक यू सो मच फॉर द लव एंड रिस्पॉन्स यू हैव गिवन टू अवर फर्स्ट वीडियो वी आर गेटिंग मेनी मैसेजेस मेनी ई मेल्स मेनी व्हाट्सएप मैसेजेस फ्रॉम ऑल ओवर द कंट्री रिगार्डिंग हाउ यूजफुल द वीडियो वॉज टू देम मेनी व्यूवर्स ऑल्सो ब्रॉड द बुक एंड दे आर स्टार्टिंग यूजिंग इट and they are sharing their experience uh, experiences regarding how useful book to them uh, book is to them in their regular clinical practice and the result they are getting is marvelous and that's all what we want so next in the series i am going to discuss the most important book in our homeopathic literature if you want to deal with the pediatric cases yes my dear friend many colleagues many uh juniors ask me how to handle the pediatric cases where the child only cries mother only confuses and this make a total panic in our homeopath's mind how to deal with the infants one month two month 15 days old childs how to tackle this type of cases and if you are worried with this problem this book is a sure shot help to every your problem i will share my first experience with this book i was attending my first lecture of dr mmd sir's class dr murari mohan datta that is dr mmd sir was a very famous homeopath and one of my guru Uh, uh one of my guru was uh, taking a class and this that was my first class and he asked me that what's your name what department you belong i i told her my name and i said that sir i am belong from the pediatric department and then he asked me that did you read this book and i said no sir i don't have any idea about this book and then he said very furiously that if you don't if you do not have read this book if you do not had this book then you do not have any right to practice homeopathy in pediatric cases and i was astonished and i after the class i ran to the library i issued the book and read it and i was totally amazed the information given in this book the first encounter regarding the usefulness of the book i got after the one week of, uh, after the finishing the book in my uh, in nihs nihs opd this one patient came to me and the parent said that the patient is having 15 to 20 convulsions per day and they went to every senior most homeopaths in kolkata and they are, they are not getting any results the child was on the three drug therapy and still the convulsions are not getting better i looked in the history looked on the prescription pads and there is no single medicine of convulsions is no, which is which is not given to that child and i realized that there is not much to do for me in this case and that time i realized something different something very interesting which i read from this book and there is one regimen had given for entire month to be given uh, in t- for the entire month in the convulsion cases and i prescribed this convulsion to that uh, pr- prescribed this convulsion regimen to this patient and asked him to come after one month and after one month the parents told that the convulsion which used to be 15 to 20 per day now reduced to one or two per day and i was amazed and there was this next uh, regimen which should be given in the next month which was uh, which i was not uh, remembering so i ran to the library i read i i borrowed the book i read the re- next regimen and after that there was there this line was written that those who will employ this will be astonished with the result and i was really amazed with the result after giving the second months regimen to the patient that convulsion uh, that patient was total convulsion free and yes dear my friend this is the power 
of this book and the name of the book is homeopathic treatise on the diseases of children by dr alf testi dr alf testi is not very much known to our homeopathic fraternity but his work are, are absolute gem his his every writing is very useful in our clinical practice so moving on to the book the book is having two major parts first part is general introduction which uh, is give, uh, divided in the two section the first section deal with the general introduction with the homeopathy that is what is homeopathy what is the law of similars what is similar symbol of scurient what is the dynamizations and if you already know this but still go uh, through that part and it is wonderfully written and uh, you will be uh, very <coughs> um, fascinated by this uh, general chapters also then in second section is uh, given the most important parts of the homeopathic practice that is in the counseling that is how to care the newborn that in i saw in many patient that the main part was lacking was the counseling the homeopaths or the physician is uh, failed to counsel the uh, parents regarding the stages of children the stages of lives of children and regarding how they should be con uh, they be consoled in the topics like weaning in the topics like bottle feeding in the topics like dentition so these topics are discussed by the heading wise heading wise in this book and they are still very much useful nowadays also if you want to stop uh, your child's uh, milk that is weaning how to wean your child this is given beautifully in this book which diet should not be given like sugar that which that the the, uh, the substances which are made from sugar should be avoided from the children's diet which the dental associations of uh, pediatricians now saying it is written in this book years ago and for this part this homeopathic pediatric counseling part this book is amazing moving on to the next part which is at the proper therapeutic part that is the diseases of children part which is the heading of the book the diseases are given in the system wise order that is the gastrointestinal symptoms the diseases of skin diseases of uh, oculomotor uh, that is the eyes diseases of locomotor apparatus it is given in the system wise manner in the system <coughs> manner in the, in this in the system various diseases is Uh, discuss. They are discuss. First, the disease is discuss. What is the disease? What should be its general management? This is also given in this book, which is very important when you are uh, when you are dealing these type of patients. And later, the treatment part is given. I will share share very few uh, gems uh, from this book which I encountered useful in my practice. first uh, was uh, many children with the lacrimation came to me and the parents told that the ophthalmologist ophthalmologist only suggested to rub this but the patient is not better the child is not better he is having redness of the eyes profuse lacrimation and every morning he is to have the agglutinations so for this you may prescribe argentum natricum and if it is not worked dr testi suggests that ethusa cyanapium ethusa cyanapium is a very wonderful drug for this kind of ophthalmia in the children and i personally had 30 to 35 cases since 4 years of my practice which are singly cured with ethusa only only and only ethusa my dear friends and this make our pediatric practice much easier second i used to uh, i like to talk about the urticaria many children with urticaria came to our clinic many of them are infants also 
months, six months, eight months, ten months, one and a half year old, which are unable to give any modality, any sensations, any causations. What to do in this type of case? You have given sulfur, thalidinum, bovista, apis, all are failing because they are not indicated or they are not matching to the totality. <coughs> For this kind of urticaria in the newborn or the children, Dr. Testi suggested that croton tiglinum in single dose is very useful in my practice. I also verified this thing whenever I I am I am not able to get any totality. I prescribe croton tig not in single but very few doses, and the patient is very very beautifully recovered. Second, in this uh, book, uh, I like to share that uh, there <coughs> is given that for the psoriasis, the treatment is given that if you encountered encountered the psoriasis in children, which is rare, but still if you got uh, uh, the cases of psoriasis in children, Marxol is the best medicine in children to start on. And I had cured many patients with this Marxol in psoriasis of the children and they are, they, they are wonderful results, satisfactory wonderful results. Again, the most common cause that is constipation. Every day we used to get the many patients of many patients, many childs who have the major problem of constipation. We are giving many, many naxomica, OPM, it is not working. For these cases where we do not track any history, that is two months, three months, four months, child, four months, child, infants, Dr. Testi suggests that give lycopodium 30 BD for seven days and from eight day the child will be absolutely okay and believe my friends after this lycopodium all the constipation of the baby is gone all the flatulence is gone but if we are if you are inquire any uh, sourness of the stomach and there is a heat of it and you are not getting sulfur you are not getting any result with sulfur try bryonia dr testi said that the bryonia will cure the disease from this root so this, my friend, is the, imp, uh, the diseases of children by Dr. Testi. I had made previously a video on uh, Just Queer group on the uh, Facebook by Dr. Mohua Majumdar. And that time <coughs> I was also get you know, some suggestions, uh, some very suggestions from many homeopaths. And I, uh, uh, many queries also been asked and I, uh, and, I, and I told them that you should use this book and you write to me that how useful uh, this book was to you so this is a reposting of <coughs> this book because many uh, my colleagues also told me that we should uh, i should make this video on this book because we are on the new platform so i am sharing their <coughs> experiences also first experience which was i shared uh, that that convulsion uh, regimen which is also used by Dr. Faizan Khan, one of my uh, one of my close friends, he is also in our group. So he also implemented this regimen, and he also got the results in these pediatric convulsion cases. Not curative, but the convulsions are reduced in much better way. Second, Dr. Shital Bidri from Bangalore, she also wrote to me few cases uh, which he treated from this book. He is uh, the first case. He's, uh, he t she told me to that that she was uh, doing uh, uh, treating a impedigo case which was not getting better with rust uh, She read this book and she implemented that dalkamara should be given in morning and evening, morning and afternoon and evening. You have to give clematis and the impedigo was gone. So this is the importance of this book. So go, my friend, grab this book, read it, and please share your valuable. Uh, thoughts suggestions to us your suggestions are very important to us please comment please subscribe our channel thank you thank you so much and happy reading to all